We brought you last night a Greenville woman still trying to get answers after her dog was accidentally euthanized at a county animal shelter. Now that woman's speaking out and Pitt County officials say they're working to change policy so that this won't happen again. News Channel 12's Deja Mayfield spoke to the woman joining us live now with more from Greenville. Deja. Destiny Daniels tells me her dog Chaos was supposed to be here at this shelter quarantining for 10 days, but her dog was euthanized instead. Now new changes are taking place at this shelter to ensure it never happens again, and Destiny tells me she hopes that it won't. He was like he's sorry that he has bad, inform um, bad information, but he had pit my, they had pit my dog down off of miscommunication with paperwork. Destiny Daniels tells me that's how she learned of her dog being accidentally euthanized at a Pitt County animal shelter. Her dog was under a bite quarantine after he bit a child and was only supposed to be at the shelter for 10 days, but instead her dog was put down. Now that miscommunication of paperwork is prompting procedural changes at a Pitt County animal shelter. He was really my support like while he was here. Daniels posted about the incident on her Facebook page, and now that post has over 5,000 shares so far, rallying support from the community and prompting the shelter to make some changes. This new approach um, will be um, less reliance on the computer and more um, conversation and multiple individuals approving next steps. Janice Gallagher, Pitt County manager, explains that this new approach will require shelter workers to call pet owners and confirm the information on the written disposition form. These new changes will also have shelter directors to sign off on a pet's file before any animal is put down. Gallagher says it's changes like these that leave less room for cases of human error. Even though we had existing checks and balances, this um, taught us that there were still weaknesses within that system. A system that Destiny is hoping will prevent future incidents like this happening to anyone else. But now we just got to look at it as it being deeper than this. We got to look at the other dogs that's going to possibly go to another animal shelter. We got to look at it for the future. We got to make my dog an example and to use in, you know, future references, you know, to stop it make sure it doesn't happen again. So that's the route I'm kind of trying to take now, like, just to see what is it that we can do to make sure it don't happen no more. Daniels tells me she is now pursuing legal action and as for the employee that's at fault, Janice Gallagher tells me all personnel matters are confidential, but she assures, quote, appropriate actions have been taken. Live in Pitt County, I'm Deja Mayfield for News Channel 12.